In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable directory listing on a web server. Usually if you go to a site and you find a folder that doesn't have any index files in it, for example, images, you get a forbidden message saying you don't have permission to see this. That's very different from not found, which just means you type something wrong in the address bar. This forbidden one is going to the folder example whereas the 404 not found is example 1. But if you're going to example and you have directory listing enabled, you'll see something like this. And here I can actually browse and I can find the files I want. This is not necessarily the best idea for most sites because people can see your files, but it could help for development. To do this, you need to create a .htaccess file or hypertext access. On Windows, find Notepad or some other text editor and create a blank document. Control S to save it and I'm going to name it .htaccess. Now you want to save the type as all files because I created a file with no name and simply an extension. Now I press save. Now if I go find that file, you see it's here. If it doesn't appear, you might need to go into control panel, file explorer options, and then in the view tab, you need to make sure show hidden files is checked and you press OK. For some reason, Windows doesn't allow you to directly create a file with no name because if I try and rename this thing to .htaccess, you see you must provide a file name. I'll put a Mediafire download link to this .htaccess file if you can't figure out how to create them, but you should be able to on any operating system. Now I'm going to go into WinSCP. This is my FTP program, and I'm going to copy that .htaccess file, drag it onto the right. If you don't see the .htaccess file, you might also need to configure WinSCP or your FTP program to display hidden files as well. Now I'm going to edit this .htaccess file. This is creating a temporary version. When I press save, WinSCP uploads it. So I'm going to be editing it live. You could also do all the edits to the .htaccess file offline and then upload it later. The most important line to add to get indexing options is options plus indexes. Capitalization is recommended but not required and there's no space between the plus and indexes. Press save. Now if I go back to my forbidden page and refresh, you see my directory appeared and I can go and view my files. It applies to all subfolders, so this folder I can also see the directory listing and I'll get to how to disable that in a minute. You can add comments with a hash symbol and they'll be ignored and you can change the indexing options from the default to indexing options, fancy indexing. If I save this and go refresh my page, I see it changed it. There's no more information that was displayed, they just changed the font and made things move around a bit. Obviously none of this is going to show up if you have an index page. So if I rename this page to index.html and refresh, you see it shows index.html. If I name this is an index.php page, and as you see, there's two pages both called index, but PHP has a higher precedence, so it wins out. I'm just going to delete those two and recopy the old indexes, so we get the directory listing back. To disable directory listing for a subfolder, I'm going to copy this file into the subfolder, and I'm going to edit this htaccess file. I'm going to change plus options to minus options. When I save this, I still have directory listing here, but if I go into subfolder, it's forbidden. This minus indexes overrides the folder that contains it. If I deleted the text and just had an empty htaccess file, you see the above rules would still carry down. Normally the server looks for index.something pages, but say we wanted to instead make the default page be 1.txt. You'd accomplish that by typing directory index and then the name of your file. And when I save this, go refresh my page, you see it displays this instead of the directory listing. You're telling it instead of look for index pages, look for 1.txt pages. If I copied 1.txt into subfolder and then went back into subfolder, you'd see that it displayed 1.txt as well. This overrode the default index. I'm just going to comment that out so that we can get to the final thing. If you want to have directory listing enabled but just want to ignore a few files, you can type index ignore and then the name of the file you want to ignore. Now if I press save, you see I have my directory index, 1.txt is missing. You can also exclude certain file types, do asterisk.php to exclude all files that end in PHP. And as you can see the PHP index disappeared. This doesn't actually prevent you from going to that page though because 1.txt is still available. If you wanted to do that you'd have to do much more complicated stuff. There are plenty more things you can do with HD access, but those are just a few to get you started.